Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up recurring tasks in Windows using the task scheduler. Typically, this is used for executable files, but it turns out you can actually run auto hockey scripts just fine without any changes. And speaking of auto hockey scripts, I've been working on a script to run every day when I go to sleep that will go through and do some bulk video encoding with Handbrake. Video encoding takes up your entire CPU and your and even your graphics card as well. So I want this to run when I'm totally asleep and I'm not thinking about the computer at all. We're gonna set up the recurring tasks to do this together. It's pretty easy to find the program. You just go into the Windows search and type task scheduler and it pops right up. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so when it pops up, you should see something like this. Now this is a terrible, terrible interface. It's very overwhelming when you look at it, but I promise you it's not that hard. Basically, all you wanna do to create a new task is to go to create basic task right here. And we're just going to go ahead and type a script name. So I'm going to write AHK daily, put a description daily script for auto hockey. Okay, so then you go ahead and add your trigger. If you see my previous video on how to launch auto hockey scripts at startup, this is actually a different method to do that, but you can't do the recurring tasks thing with the method I showed in that other video. So I want a daily script every night. So I'm going to keep daily checked and it's going to give me a time to select and when it's gonna recur. So I actually don't want it to be at this time. I want it to be at two in the morning. So we'll have it be two, um, zero, 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 and AM. And I will have it start, cause it's seven three today, I'm gonna to start it at seven four, which is, you know, tomorrow. This should be local to your own time zone, to your own computer's clock. What we're going to do is start a program, obviously. We're going to start our auto hockey script. And here is where the script comes in. And then you just select your auto hockey script and it should just work. And here is my script I want to run, daily.ahk. Here's a quick little warning about the script you're selecting. If you ever move this file, this auto hockey script, you will have to redo the task scheduler to have it remapped to that other place. So just make sure that whatever you're selecting, it's going to be in a spot where it's going to stay. And I'm pretty confident I'm never gonna move this thing. So bam, I selected it. Next, and then that's it. So let's go ahead and open up the properties dialog just so I can show you that this is what this looks like. This is the larger task screen and you can confirm. You've got your name and your description. You've got your trigger, which is correct. You've got your action, which it's gonna be opening the script. And they have a whole bunch of other settings, which you can go ahead and play around with if that's something you care about. So that's it, you're done with your recurring task, but I'm gonna show you one more thing. If you ever wanna delete the task, you can click on the task scheduler library here, and this pulls up all of the tasks that you have. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that was created by other programs as they need their tasks. So the task that we made AHK daily is right here, uh, and deleting it is as simple as right clicking on it and then clicking the delete. So then it'll pop up, do you wanna delete this task? I will hit yes, and it's gone. So that's it for creating recurring tasks to run scripts with the task scheduler. If you like this video and you want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya.